Yo, what is good, YouTube? I'm gonna show you guys how to download, install, and set up Kername for CS2. Kername is a very good external undetected cheat. This cheat does have a lot to offer, so let's get straight into it. Since this is a step-by-step -step guide, I have to show you guys where to get the cheat before I can show you how to set it up and use it. This video is brought to you by RevUnity.com. Go to Counter-Strike 2 products and go to Kername CS2. So this cheat does come with the price tag of $10 for a seven-day key, and for a 90-day key, it's gonna run you about $46. So once you've chosen your duration, go ahead and add this to your cart. Go ahead and fill out all of this information. And for coupons, go ahead and use my code REDS to get 5% off of your purchase. So once you get your license key, there will most likely be a link right there for you. But if it doesn't have one, another way to reach this is by going to currentaim.to slash instructions. So a couple things I do want to mention is you are going to have to uninstall Faceit or Vanguard. This will help you not get detected. All right, so the first step is you are going to have to download and install Microsoft Visual C++ by clicking this link here. Go ahead and put this wherever you want to. Then you're going to want to uninstall any antivirus you have on your PC. Step three, disable real-time protection and tamper protection. The easiest way to do this is by coming to Windows Security, go to Virus and Threat Protection, go to Manage Settings, turn off real-time protection, and turn off tamper protection as well. Once these two settings are off, five is telling you to download your loader by clicking on the button. You can use a USB flash drive if you want to stay undetected even more, but it's not needed. Now you want to open up the loader. This pop-up is most likely going to pop up for you as well. Click run in. All right, so I'm going to fully showcase everything that she has to offer. Default key to open and close this sheet is going to be insert. The first thing you're going to see is enable aimbot. Make sure this is on mouse one. And you can also open up your weapon configs and you can customize each different weapon group or specific weapon to your liking. But for anybody that wants to get a little bit more specific, a little bit more on point, you're not going to want your op settings the same as your SMG settings. So you can come through here and personalize it to yourself. Your activation, your hit scan mode, your bone selection, which is going to be your head, neck, chest, your thorax, and your FOB type will all be listed directly under it. Your aimbot smoothing, your field of view. The higher this is, the more you're going to track on to and the higher your smoothing is it's going to be less obvious to other people watch your hit chance your dead zone will all be on this left side as well coming over to the trigger bot i did hear i'm going to test this out for myself i did hear that the trigger bot on this sheet is pretty good i normally don't use trigger bot either way though under recoil control this is going to help you with your recoil if you turn this on it will help you if you don't have it checked it's not going to do anything use whatever settings you guys want to this is just a rough basic config i set it for myself coming over to the second tab is where your all your visuals and esp settings are going to be so the cool thing about this is if you press f5 as you see everything goes away so i have an enemy right here and i'm gonna go over each different visual settings so your box is easily just going to be the box that goes around them. You can also change the color. When it comes to the name, you can come here and change the name as well. It's going to be very, very small at the top, but it's big enough for you to see. If you want your health bar on, you can also toggle this on or off. This default to green. So your weapon is going to be directly listed at the bottom. It's going to tell you whatever weapon they have out at the moment. You can also toggle this ammo ESP on or off. This will tell you how much ammo they have left in that clip. I normally don't use that. Your skeleton settings will all be here. You can also change the colors there as well. So if you do want a head dot, you can put the head dot on. I personally do not not see myself ever using that but it's a cool feature for those who want to your miscellaneous settings will all be listed here if you want your fob on you can see this right here your recoil crosshair and your aimbot target for those who do not want to be caught while streaming if you toggle this setting on or off and you actually press f4 or whatever key you put this will make it so where other people cannot see your cheat in my opinion if you're gonna cheat you might as well be blatant about it on video because if you accidentally press that key for whatever reason you're pretty much cut and the very last setting is gonna be your config so i'm gonna do a quick run of you on this map I have no complaints to be honest. The only bad thing about this cheat that I can honestly complain about is the fact that there's no skin changer. Don't care about skins, you have nothing to worry about. But if you do care about skins, then that might be a turn off for you. But this is an external cheat, it's not internal, so it makes sense to have a skin changer. But I guess the fact that it is external and you can load this up on a USB drive, it makes the cheat give you that extra comfortability of not being banned. Obviously, the ratio is going to be different, but you already knew that. It's all based on whatever config you use, man. If you want a legit cheat, this cheat could offer that. If you want a semi-rage or rage, this cheat could offer that as well. All right, so now I'm gonna go over the trigger bot. I'm gonna show you guys exactly what it looks like. Obviously, it depends on what settings you use once again. But I'm gonna show you the basic overview. Once again, shout out to Red Unity for sponsoring this video. I highly recommend you guys do go check out Kername, even if you only get a one-week key.